Hi learners, this is USAID Opportunity 2.0 program, Second Chance Opportunities for Out-of-School Youth, Life Skills for Self-Directed Learning. In this video, I will guide you in answering your life skills modules. Are you ready for this? Then let's get started. The title of our first module is Personal Development. In this video, we are going to conduct the first session. For session 1, Values and Skills, we are going to have 4 major activities. Each activity may take at least 30 to 60 minutes. But don't worry, we won't consume all the time for this video guide as you may pause the video while doing the activities. Here are the written assignments that you must submit to your teacher after the session. You may find the activities on your module and answer them on a the yellow paper. You may also use the worksheets that I have uploaded to your group page. During this module, you are going to identify what is important to you and how you can grow and move ahead. The first session will focus on identifying your own values, beliefs, interests, and strengths and weaknesses. Read the proverb at the beginning of the module. Mas mabuting pinag-iisipan ang kinabukasan habang ikaw ay nasa kasalukuyan. What does it mean? How does the proverb relate to the objectives? You may pause this video while you write your answers on your available writing space. For your first written task, you are going to answer the learner's reflection. This is not a test but is a way for us to see what you already know or do not know about the topics. You will read a skill that is listed in the left column. Think about yourself and your experience and read the statements across the top. Check the column that best represents your situation. The results will help you and the instructor know which topics may require more time, effort, and guidance. You may now answer your learner's reflection. You may pause this video while you write your answers on your yellow paper. You may also print and use the worksheets uploaded to your group page.
For activity number two, values, beliefs, and qualities. Think about someone you respect and who has served as a role model. A role model is someone you look up to and whose behavior you would like to imitate. What makes that person so special to you? Write down the words that describes the person. Example, passionate, honest, hardworking, committed, humorous, and so on. For your second written task, you are going to accomplish handout 1.1, examples of values, beliefs, and desirable qualities. There are so many values, beliefs, and desirable qualities that influence the way people behave. These are just some examples. Are any of the words you wrote to describe your role model on the list? Fill in the table. First, choose the five most important personal values for yourself by marking an X next to the word under me column. Then choose the top five values for your family, friends, in the next column. Finally, choose what you think are the five most important values to employers. You may now answer your handout. You may pause this video while you write your answer on your yellow paper or you may also print and use the worksheet uploaded to your group page. Think about it. This section encourages you to express your opinions to family and friends about a topic. Start a discussion with them face-to-face, -face, via text, chat, or whatever means available and comfortable to you. It is always great to share your ideas and hear more points of view. How do the values that you have compared to those you think are important to friends or family and employers? Given what you think employers value, how do you think you should behave at work? Think about the things you do on a regular basis. What values are reflected in your daily activities? Sharing is caring. This section encourages you to share your output to family and friends. You worked hard on this, so now it is time to tell others about the task you have just completed. Do it face to face, via text, chat, or whatever means available and comfortable to you. It is always great to share your thoughts and hear feedback from people who care. Discuss values, beliefs, and desirable qualities with others in your household, neighborhood, or community. Who have been their role models and why? What has been their experience related to the values in the workplace?
Gather a few people nearby and read the following statements. Each person should decide if you strongly agree, somewhat agree, somewhat disagree, or strongly disagree with the statement. You may pause this video while doing the activity. Share your responses with each other and discuss. What do you notice? Did everybody have the same responses or were they different? Everybody has their own opinions, feelings, interests, and skills. Sometimes, we have similarities with others and sometimes we have differences. We are all unique. It is this uniqueness that makes you who you are. Continue the discussion with others. Share with each other your thoughts on You may pause this video while doing the activity. Values influence how we spend our time and also lead us to developing skills and qualities that are useful to work. Read 1.2 My Skills and Qualities and choose the top 6 skills or qualities that you would like to use in a job and circle them or write them in your notebook. Rate yourselves for all the six skills or qualities that you selected using the four columns in the table. These skills and qualities can apply to your work, to your education, or to your personal life. Draw a line in the center of a piece of paper, creating two columns. Write the strengths on the left side and areas for improvement on the right side. Look at the six items you circled at the beginning. If you rated yourself as very good or good for a skill or quality, it means it is a strength. If you rated themselves not so good or needs to improve a lot, it is an area for improvement.
You may now do this activity. You may pause this video while doing the activity. And that ends the first session of Module 1. We hope that this video was of big help for you to answer your module. Make sure that you accomplish the written assignments for this session. See you in the next session.